I'm surrounded by Josefinos, residents of San Jose, capital of one of the most remarkable countries in the world. Today in the Paradise Hunter, we're going to be discovering why so many North Americans are choosing to call this country home. Welcome to the pure life of Costa Rica. Costa Rica, wow! With so many beautiful places on Earth, I've often dreamed of living somewhere more exotic, more breathtaking, and more affordable. I'm Michael Robinson, Paradise Hunter. Like most people's journeys in Costa Rica, mine has started in San Jose. But I have a feeling the real paradise is somewhere out there. Costa Rica is located in Central America and is bordered by Nicaragua to the north and Panama to the south. It's long been known for its breathtaking natural wonders, incredible rainforests, and spectacular shoreline. But over the past decade, more and more North Americans have been packing up the wagon and moving to this country. And I'm here to find out why. My first stop is the Monteverde Cloud Forest. Now, a rainforest might not be everyone's idea of paradise, but it's exactly what drew Canadian Darren Rennick here almost two decades ago. It's a big tree, and yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Not to retire, to pioneer what has become an incredibly popular activity. Ready? Yeah! Whoop! If you've never taken a zipline tour, it's about as close as you can get to being a bird soaring through the trees. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> awesome. It doesn't take long, standing on a platform some 60 feet above the forest floor to really begin to appreciate the canopy experience and understand Darren's passion for what he's doing. Wow. Darren, this is brilliant. Thank you. You really yeah. get a sense of the, of the biodiversity better up here. Now, Lini Nagkarni, who's a, a rainforest expert from Evergreen University in Washington, uh, has studied one of these trees, and she said there's more biodiversity in this one tree here than you have in an entire forest in um, like Oregon. Wow. There'll be over 2,000 species right on this one tree. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's a big rush to save all of this because, you know, they say we could have the cure for cancer up there, new mm. drugs, new molecules that could fight, you know, starvation and disease and things, and just coming in here and mowing this all down so we could have some wood for some salad bowls doesn't really make much sense. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the ideas, you know, come up here, bring people up, explain to them how important this is, yeah. enjoy the beauty, yeah. and use the money from the tourism to conserve these areas, and right. so far so good. Yeah. It's working. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And when Darren says it's working, he's not kidding. His business has expanded into six countries, and more than a million people have taken his tours, which leaves me wondering, how did someone from Canada get into this? <laughs> <laughs> like that. It's awesome. So what were you doing in Canada before you came down? Uh, immediately before I came down here, I was a financial planner for Investors Group. <laughs> Where? Vancouver. In Vancouver? <laughs> yeah, Crazy. downtown Vancouver, British Columbia. Wow. Hey, look at that, the sun's come out. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So what would be your advice to someone who wants to live here? Um, well, to live here, you can just come down on vacation, try it out, you know, to have like a summer place here like any other place, or to retire here if you have an income. Money goes a lot further. Mm -hmm. Now, what about personal health? And you've just had a baby. Yeah. You know, do you have any concerns about the, the hospital system? Costa Rica? The medical no. system? No. Private system here is as good as any. Huh. There's people that come down here on plastic surgery holidays. Oh. Wow. So, so is it a dual system? Is there's private and public? Yeah, there's a public system here that's, um, they give meds and they do basic service. Mm -hmm. um, is it good? Uh, it's basic. Right. You know. Is it comparable to Canada? No. Right. No. Mm -hmm. uh, the private system here would be comparable to Canada. Right. What about personal safety? A lot of people think, you know, Central America, there's crime. What's that, what's that situation like here? I've never seen a fist fight here. I've never seen violence in the streets. I've never seen guys get out of the car and have a fight here. 
Wow. It's not to say that you don't have to be careful. Yes. But I mean, it's it's most of the crime here is not violent crime. Right. Yeah. I mean, living here is 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 a not a bad thing at all. And with that thought, my canopy tour has come to an Thank end. You. Leon. But my hunt for paradise has just begun. Well, in keeping with the theme of the day, I have hooked up some incredible accommodations for tonight. You're thinking a luxury five star. I'm thinking treehouse. This is gonna be great. Tomorrow, if I survive whatever it is out there making that sound, I will go to Hako, surfing mecca on the Pacific coast in Great. Right now, I'm gonna say goodnight.